What up, y'all? It's boy, Mr. Downtown Ray Mellon. You're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Dubai for Tuesday, July 13th, 2021. Delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Facebook.com slash Entertainment Report with Ray Mello. That's R-E-Y-M-E-L-O. On Twitter at The Enter Report or on Instagram at The Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app. Search for The Entertainment Report and it'll take you to the page. Emily Blunt and Dwayne Johnson discuss how it felt to finally have their delayed Disney film Jungle Cruise near release Monday on Good Morning America. Jungle Cruise, which is coming to theaters and Disney Plus with the premiere access on July 30th, was originally set to open in July 2020, but was delayed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Blunt told GMA, it's sort of surreal but thrilling because this movie really captures our hearts, so for it to be seen finally is so awesome. Johnson added, it's really exciting too because you can feel certainly here in America that people are going back to theaters. The duo also discussed their chemistry together. Uh, Blunt says, it's the funniest dynamic in the world in the film and sort of mirrors that in life. Blunt and Johnson will be searching for the legendary tree of life in the film based on the classic Disneyland and Walt Disney World theme park ride of the same name. It also co-stars Jesse Plemons, Edward, uh, Edgar Ramirez, Jack Whitehall, and Paul Giamatti. Nickelodeon and Awesomeness Films have announced the production of a new live-action film for Paramount Plus titled Fantasy Football that stars Marcy Martin. Martin will star as the 15-year-old Carmen Coleman, who can control her professional football player dad's prowess on the field through a video game. The project is executive produced by LeBron James and Maverick Carter's The Spring Hill Company in partnership with Genius Entertainment. Zoe Marshall is pending the screenplay based on an original screenplay by Richard T. Jones, Jeremy Lothang, and Tim Olgatree. Production will begin in early 2022. Nickelodeon Awesomeness Films also announced a film adaptation of author Becca Fitzpatrick's Hush Hush novel. Hush Hush will follow the 16-year-old student, Nora Gray, who befriends new student Patch and finds herself in the crosshairs of an ancient battle between fallen angels and the immortals. Manette Clayton is writing the screenplay for Hush Hush, which production starts in 2021. Hush Hush and Fantasy Football will both premiere on Paramount Plus in 2022. Sheridan Smith has begun filming her scenes for the ITV upcoming four-part drama series, No Return. No Return, which will air in 2022, follows a family who gets caught up living in a, in, in a living nightmare while on vacation in Turkey. Smith will portray Mother Kathy, who has to fight for her 16-year-old son's freedom after he's accused of a serious crime. Co-stars include Michael Gibson, Louis Asberg Circus, uh, Lily Sutcliffe, Jody Campbell, Cyan Brooke, David Munmelny, uh, Philip Alditi, Morat Steven, and Rufus Helm. John Alexander is directing the project based off a script by uh, creator Danny uh, Brocklehurst. Uh, Nicola Slillinger, uh, Richard Free, and Brockhurst is producing. Free said in a statement, we are thrilled to be making no return for ITV. Danny has such a brilliant way of making an extraordinary situation feel uh, completely relatable and find warmth and humor in even the most difficult circumstances. It's great to be working with the wonderful John Alexander again, and we're excited to be uh, starting production soon. Johnny Knoxville describes some of the stunts that will be featured in his new film, Jackass Forever, while appearing on Jimmy Kimmel Live, which was guest hosted by Anthony Anderson. Knoxville said on Sunday that he didn't have a trailer for Jackass Forever as he is still working on the film. The actor instead showcased photographs of stunts that will take place in the film. Knoxville introduced photographs of stars Erin McGehee and Dark Shark trying to blow a tarantula into each other's helmet. And Aaron Manaka is trying to light a fart underwater. Uh, Knoxville presented photos of himself being shot out of a cannon and being attacked by a bull. Uh, Knoxville joked about the photo, which shows him being flung into the air by the bull. I have uh, always heard the bulls love magic, so I wanted to do a magic trick for the bull, and it turns out this bull absolutely hates magic. He continued, I spent a weekend in the hospital after this with a broken wrist, broken rib, and a concussion, but for the footage, 
turned out great, so it is a win-win. Jackass Forever comes to theaters on October 22nd. Knoxville also challenged Guillermo Rodriguez to stick his hands into a set of mystery boxes that contain either tarantulas or tequila while being blindfolded. Netflix is giving a glimpse of Valeria Season 2. The streaming service shared a trailer for the new season of the Spanish comedy drama series on Monday. The preview shows Valeria, played by Diana Gomez, questioned whether she should accept the deal she was offered for her book in the Season 1 finale. She also navigates her new romance with Victor, played by Maxi Iglesias. Val uh, Valeria said in the trailer, I wonder if the only thing we have in common is sex. Silma Lopez, Paula Malia, and Teresa Rial co-star as Valeria's best friends, Lola Carmen and Naria. Abraham Alshami plays Valeria's ex-husband, Adrian. Valeria is based on the En Los Zapatos de Valeria book series by Elizabeth Benavent. The series follows the personal and professional life of Valeria, a writer living in Madrid. Season 2 premieres August 13th on Netflix. Now this is giving a glimpse of the new series Hit and Run. The streaming service shared a trailer for the action thriller Monday featuring Lior Raz as Sergei Azuli, a husband and father living in Tel Aviv. The preview shows Sergei, played by Raz, life turned upside down after his wife dies in a mysterious hit and run accident. As he searches for the killers, Sergei begins to uncover secrets about his wife. The official description reads, with the help of an uh, ex-lover uh, played by Sana Latham, he uncovers disturbing truths about his beloved wife and the secrets she kept from him. Uh, Kaylin Ullman, Moran Rosenblatt, Greg Hendry, and Gal Turin also have roles. Hit and Run is from the, uh, from the producers of The Killings and Fada. Raz plays Dorian Cabalibo uh, on Fada, a Netflix series that has been renewed for a fourth season. Raz and Avi Isaac Haroff uh, co-created the series with showrunners Don Presswich and Nicole Yorkin. Uh, Mike Barker, Kimberly Baloney, uh, Peter Principato, uh, Italy Reese, uh, David Holberben, Todd Lieberman, and Laura Zacks serves as executive producers. Hit and Run premieres August 6 on Netflix. Latham is known for the films Love and Basketball and The Best Man. She played Janelle in The Affair and voices Donna Tubbs on Family Guy. Netflix announced the new series Cooking with Paris on Monday. The Paris Hilton cooking show will premiere August 4th. The Hilton Hotel heiress executive produces and hosts a series from her own kitchen. The Netflix announcement said Hilton will also showcase uh, kitchen wardrobes and welcome her celebrity friends as guests. Hilton posted a YouTube video Cooking with Paris on January 13, 2020. It has over 5 million views and inspired the six-episode half-hour show. The four-year-old Hilton, who celebrates her birthday February, who celebrated her birthday February 17th, became a reality TV star, co-starring with Nicole Richie on The Simple Life from 2003 to 2007. She hosted the competition series My New BFF and Paris Hilton British Best Friend, in which the winner got to be her best friend. In last year's documentary, This is Paris, Hilton revealed that her social and television persona was a character she created after enduring abuse as a child. Hilton also released an album in 2006. The single Stars Are Blind was recently featured in the film Promising Young Woman. As an actor, Hilton appeared in films such as House of Wax, Repo, the generic opera, and the hottie and the naughty. Stars is renewed the power of book three, Raising Canon, for a second season ahead of the show's series premiere on Sunday. Power of book three, Raising Canon, is a prequel series that takes place in South Jamaica, Queens, New York, in the early 90s. The show follows a younger Canon Stark, a character played by Curtis 50 Cent Jackson in the original Power. Uh, Patina Miller stars as Cannon's mother, Raquel Rack Thomas. McKay Curtis stars as Cannon Stark. Co-stars include Omar Epps, London Brown, Malcolm Mays, Haley Kilgore, Joy Badass, Toby Sanderman, uh, Shanley Castle, um, Caswell, and Lovey Simone, with Quincy Brown recurring Antonio Ortiz, who portrays Sean Famous Figueroa and uh, is being upgraded to series regular for season two. Uh, creator Sasha Penn is returning as a showrunner for season two and is executive producing alongside Jackson and Courtney A. Kemp. Jeffrey Hirsch, the president and CEO of Stars, said in a statement, One season is enough to tell the coming-of-age story of Canon Stark and his mom, Rack, a fierce and successful woman who is a force of nature. 
The anticipation global for more of the power universe made it clear that the canon story needs to be continued. Stars also developed Power Book 4, Force, which will follow Joseph Sikor as reprising his role as Tommy Egan, who leaves New York for good. Paramount Plus announced that The Offer began production on Monday. The Offer is a scripted series about the making of The Godfather. A 30-second video plays Nino Rota's iconic theme song from The Godfather over sepia-tainted shots of the script title page. Writers Nikki Toscano and Michael Tolkien uh, based the series on producer Albert S. Ruddy's memory of making the film. Toscano and Tolkien area... Uh, also executive producers. Miles Teller plays Rudy in the series. Matthew Good plays uh, producer Robert Evans, whose experience at Paramount were the basis of his books and documentary The Kid Stays in the Picture. Dan Folger plays uh, Godfather director Francis Ford Coppola. Baron Gorman plays Gulf and Western founder Charles Blodorn. The company owned Paramount in the 70s. Colin Hanks plays Gulf and Western executive uh, Barry Laputis. Giovanni Ribisi plays Joe Colombo, the creator of the Italian-American Civil Rights League, which was involved in The Godfather. Juno Temple plays agent manager Betty McCart. The series is filmed in Los Angeles. The Godfather was based on Mario Puzo's novel. The 1972 and 1974 sequel won Best Picture and many additional Oscars. Former child television star Drake Bell was sentenced to two years of probation by Ohio judge Monday after pleading guilty last month to child endangerment charges involving an underage girl. Cuyahoga County uh, Commons Plea Court Judge Timothy McCormick uh, also sentenced the one-time Nickelodeon star to 200 hours of community service during a court hearing in Cleveland. Bell has faced up to two years in prison after pleading guilty to the endangerment charges involving a Canadian girl who was 15 years old at the time. The 34-year-old actor who was born Jared Derek, uh, Drake Bell but also goes by Drake Campana, was arrested on June 4th on accusations relating to a 2017 incident and was released on the Cahillhoga County Jail on a $2,500 bond. Um, he initially pleaded not guilty to attempting endangering children, a fourth-degree felony, and dismantling ma uh, matters harmful to juveniles, a first-degree misdemeanor, but later changed his plea. Bell said at the hearing, today I accept this plea because I'm, my conduct was wrong. I'm sorry that the victim was harmed in any way. That was obviously not my intention. I have taken this matter very, very seriously. And again, I just want to apologize to her and anybody else who may have been affected by my actions. The sentence was handed down after the accuser, now 19, made a statement which she called Bev evil and a pedophile. She accused the actor of grooming her since she was 12 and of engaging in sexual misconduct in two separate incidents, which Bell later denied. Bell's lawyer uh, denied. Uh, the woman said, my life hasn't been the same since I was 15. I think about these crimes every single day. I feel like I'm in a constant dark place. Sometimes I wish I could disappear so I can forget about what happened. Prosecutors said Bell established a relationship with the girl several years prior in 2017 when she attended his concert at a Cleveland nightclub. That night, Bell, quote, violated his duty of care and and in doing so created a risk of harm to the victim, the prosecutor said. Uh, the team filed a report of the allegations at a Canadian police department in 2018. Bell played the role of Drake Parker on Drake and Josh and from 2004 to 2007 on Nickelodeon and also had roles in the vo as the voice of Spider-Man in various animated series. Thomas Rudd, Carrie Underwood, and Luke Holmes are set to star and headline at the 2022 Stagecoach Country Music Festival, which will take place April 29th to May 1st. Mayor Morris, Midland, Brandy Carlisle, Jordan Davis, Tanya Tucker, Bruz Osborne, Lee Bryce, Joy Jinks, Mitchell Tennypenny, Margo Bryce, the uh, Black Crows, Jody Johnson, Smokey Robinson, Low Cash, the Mavericks, and more are part of the Stagecoach 2022 lineup. Rhett will be performing on April 29th, with Underwood taking the stage on April 30th and Combs on May 1st. The festival will be held at the Empire Polo Club in Indio, California. Tickets go on sale on Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. California officials canceled Stagecoach for 2021 in January due to the coronavirus pandemic along with Coachella. And finally, options for the South Korean boy band BTS uh, to postpone mandatory military service is in the nation's national interest. A senior military office official said after a new amendment went into effect last month. Junshik Ahon, 
the head of Seoul's Military Manpower Administration, told local newspaper Young Hang Shimyun that exceptions were made for outstanding artists who increased the value of the nation's brand. Referencing to BTS members RM, Jin, Sugar, J-Hope, Jamin, V, and Jungkook. Jung is disclosed the military official position after an amendment by Korea's Military Service Act went into effect June 23rd. The amendment allowed South Korean men who have, rec who have been recognized for their artistic or athletic achievements to the further military service until the age of 30, according to Dong Al Ibo. After the amendment passed in February, the Korea Music Content Association said in April the bill is, quote, unrealistic and unfair, Junan Daily reported. The law applies to all South Korean men, but KMCA has no musicians other than BTS are actually eligible because of awards received. The boy band was conferred to the Orders of Cultural Merit in 2018 for contributions to the global popularity of Korean culture and encouraging more people around the world to learn the Korean language. John said Monday that the decision to select recipients of the Order of Cultural Merit, a government conferred recognition was important because it would, quote, minimize the controversy over preferential treatment. A local uh, poll conducted in October of last year showed the public was evenly divided on the issue of military service postponement for BTS. <coughs> South Korean men are required to enlist by the age of 28. Jin, the oldest BTS member, can enlist by 2022 under the new amendment. Jungkook, born in 1997, can defer military service until 2027. And as your entertainment report for Tuesday, July 13th, 2021, I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back tomorrow to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Facebook.com slash The Entertainer Report with Ray Mello. That's R-E-Y-M-E-L-O. On Twitter at The Enter Report or on Instagram at The Entertainer Report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of The Entertainer Report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app. Search for The Entertainer Report and it'll take you to the page. Good night. God bless you all.